What is up, everybody? It's your reverse TV here today, and we have to talk about this nonsense right here from the developers. Uh, fin fantastic is their, is their name. They are the makers of the game the day before, which is actually trending right now because this game is literally the worst game of 2023 by far. We thought the King Kong game was bad. You thought the Gollum game was bad. Hell, you even thought Redfall and First Spoken was bad, but this tastes the cake by far. Apparently, the studio is closing down after it's been released for three to four days. They made an official statement saying how we're shutting down. <laughs> we can't pay our bills or something like that. This is the most craziest thing I've seen in the game industry by far. People are saying this is a scam, and it kind of sounds like it's a scam, but... I'm not that big of a huge PC gamer, but PC gamers were anticipating this game. This wasn't a highly sought out their game, but once it released, the reviews speaks for itself. Overwhelmingly negative. Only 15% of the people who played out of 9,000 people said the game was even remotely good. So It's like they're doing some false advertising because apparently the devs somehow released a game that isn't even the actual game they promised, what this user says. An open world MMO turned into a small scale extraction shooter full of bugs and server errors. And he says this is one of the worst games of 2023. I was like, if you got a game that don't even work properly, then yeah, I would say this is the worst game. <laughs> I was like, I was seeing one clip of this one lady, she was playing a game, and the whole world was just empty. That was one red flag right there, the whole world is empty, but an interesting bug happens while she's playing a game. You got a, a character pops up right here, like an Attack on Titan monster. What is this? What is this? People decide they actually decide to release a game like this. This is crazy. In 2023, this is what we're seeing here. Wow, from a fully game you can buy on the Steam store. It's crazy, but let's read their official statement. This is what the company stated. Today, we announced the closure of Fantastic Studio. Unfortunately, the day before has failed financially. <laughs> wow. And we lack the funds to continue. All income received is being used to pay off our debts to our partners. This seems like some shady stuff right here. We invested in all our efforts, resource, and man hours into the development of the day before, which was our first huge game. We really wanted to release a new patch to reveal the full potential of the game, but unfortunately we don't have the funding to continue the work. So you just took all the people who did buy the game's money? It's like, definitely shady right there, but I'm pretty sure Steam is on top of this, because this is trending right now. This is the biggest game that's being talked about right now, and the wrong reasons why. So, Steam is probably most likely giving people refunds for this game. It is just crazy how you, you just say, hey... We like the funds, so this is we're, so we're shutting down. We gotta pay our debts to our partners. This is crazy right here. Uh, at the moment, the future of the day before and prop night is unknown, but the servers will remain operational. Who wants to play this game? The game you're shutting down, and the game's full of bugs and server issues. Why would somebody continue to play this and not just get a refund? I don't understand why they would do this. They think somebody would still support this nonsense. Um, <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Give you this statement. This is the Discord. That's what the Discord looks like for this game. We play from the beginning. Justice scam, scam repeatedly. More scam. People are saying this is a game is a scam, and I don't, I don't blame them. They took money for a game they know that wasn't properly developed properly, has a lot of bugs and issues, but you still release it out there anyway. What were they expecting to happen with this? Like, if you, if you weren't trying to scam the public, then what? What? What is this? Then is somebody? Is this somebody's experience with the game? He says it's just like you can't even load into a server. Apparently. Uh, let me select the server, North America. Oh my fucking god! I'm gonna go Golden Corn. <laughs> Connection issues. <laughs> the only one, cause I can't fucking get in. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And all the buttons on my keyboard. I'm going to Mount Beck. Apparently, you can't even get to the servers now. So this game is a whole crap show. It, it just instantly is just like, wow. For a developer to be this terrible at developing games, you should win an award for that. 
And I was like, the the fact of the point, if you're not a scam, people are viewing you as a scam because you're so bad at what you do. Like, this is just terrible. This is ridiculous at this point. Like, once again, I'm not a PC gamer like that, but if I bought this game, I'll be highly pissed that this highly anticipated game just turned out like this. Where it's like, developers didn't give a crap about it. They just released it in the state, and apparently it's, it's shutting down. <laughs> you don't even get a patch to just shutting it down. Like, this is craziness right here. Um, if Fantastic won't refund people, then Valve needs to step in and do it. I'm pretty sure Valve is doing it because you can't tell me it's not a scam then if they just say, hey, people pay us, they're just going to run off, shut the studio down, and just run off. That's, that sounds like a major scam, but I'm pretty sure Valve's going to step in and refund people because this is some craziness right here. Like, this is supposed to be a documentary or something. Like, like this is unreal to see this in 2023. I am speechless to see that the day before is being shut down four days after release by the devs. The first demo looked way too good to be true, and it was all a lie. So we were making fake demos. A live service game killed four days after launch. No mention or refunds either. What the f? Sounds like some scamish, some scam crap right here. Oh uh, yeah, it's a sight to see. But hopefully this gets rectified. Valve steps in and refunds these people. And they get mocked for their existence being game developers because we can have an award show praising developers. We need to have a award. We need to have recognition where these guys get mocked too for scamming, paying the paying consumers. Like this is craziness. Like you shut down the studio and your game looks like complete crap. It's not even working properly. Just trash. But yeah, this is terrible to see. This developer, the studio needs to be roasted into oblivion probably sued at this point because once again this sounds like a complete scam they gotta they shut down and pay off their partners we can't we can't develop the game further because we like the funds uh, that sounds like a scam but i don't know yeah, i'm gonna leave it up to you guys let me know your thoughts down below like i usually criticize playstation the most but this is something else like this is a whole different animal right here like this is just pure craziness from a studio in this day and age like do better Already, yeah, just stop doing, just stop doing it all. You obviously need to be another another profession with these developers. Need to be in a whole another profession overall. So, those are just my thoughts. Want to see your thoughts down below about this? Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.